guys, it's Jasmine, and today I just wanted to make a quick video showing you a different way to store this raw food. When I talk about how to warm up the raw food, I mentioned that I usually keep it in Tupperware kind of like this and simply take it out, put it in the fridge, let it thaw out, and blah blah blah. But I don't like producing a lot of waste, and that's why I don't typically use freezer bags and things like that. But when I'm making a whole lot of food, a big, big batch, like I'm making four batches this time around, I travel and sometimes when I can't take Puppy with me and have to leave him here, I like to make like two extra batches of food just in case. One way to do it that doesn't take very much freezer space up, which is the issue when you're making a whole lot of food, is to use freezer bags. So you can see these here are already done. This is two batches right here. Um, the video where I show you how to make the raw cat food, that is one batch. So this is that doubled up. And instead of putting it in Tupperwares to save freezer room because I'm making so much, I'm putting it in these freezer bags. And the trick is to flatten them out and uh, that way it will take up a whole lot less room because for example, if I was to use four of those compared to four of these, it kind of reminds me of when you pack for like traveling luggage and you just kind of fold jeans or a sweater a normal way and stack them up and just put them in your suitcase compared to when you use one of those like vacuum suction bag things and it squeezes everything down. This is kind of the same idea except with food. I don't know why I keep feeling it. It's kind of like a stress mush ball thing. Anyway, so I'm just gonna show you a trick on how to do it and if you are culinarily inclined, you probably already know this from things like icing and sauces. You can see I have a glass and I already put one of the bags in here. So you take a bag, you put it in here, it fits perfectly and I don't have this on the scale right now because I've been doing this so long, I can just eyeball it. But this is probably about two days worth of meals. This is probably four meals, um, three to four. You just take this and put it in there. Makes it very easy. I can even do it with one hand. So I've been doing three like this. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. You just take it out, put it down like this, flatten it like so. As you can tell, I didn't uh, plan on making this video whatsoever, so I didn't even grab the fancy camera. Just grabbed my phone so I could do this. Seal it up. Beep. Put it here. Put it here. I don't know why that one's written on that side, not this side. Uh, my Virgo tendencies are going to force me to fix that. So that's a different way to do it. And same thing, you put these all in the freezer and when you have about one portion left in the one that's in the fridge, you take one from the freezer, put it in the fridge and let it thaw. It usually takes at least 12 hours in the Tupperware, but in these, it takes a little bit less time. I hope this quick video helped you with a different way of doing this, especially if you travel a bit like I do. There's also a third way, which includes putting the portions in these silicone molds. I can do a video on that too, and that one's cool because it puts them in these bricks of raw food and you can freeze them all like that and then put them in a bag once they're already in the blocks, which is cool. So if you wanna see that video, just let me know in the comments below. As always, please like this video by clicking the thumbs up and remember to subscribe for weekly videos about cat stuff, fitness, nutrition, and anything else I feel like posting. So yeah, just leave your questions in the comments below and I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching, bye. Real quick, grocery store tour guide, holistic fitness starter guide. This is full of a ton of things. It's great for kids. I think it's great for people going off to college. Of course, the holistic fitness starter guide, which is a breakdown of my approach when it comes to feeling your best, feeling your healthiest. It's on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, that's it.